lots of oil change on a 2002 7.3 excursion for the drain plug it's going to be a 19 millimeter socket you'll want to take center punch or some type of punch and just punch a hole in the bottom of the oil filter to drain out so you don't spill it all over yourself. You will, you will need a 13 millimeter socket to pull off these two acorn nuts to get access to the uh, high pressure oil pump, oil reservoir. Once you get those two acorn nuts off, pull this cover off. This is, uh, we're gonna drain it. This is actually a T30 star bit. Go ahead and pull this off. After you get that off, you're gonna wanna extract the oil through this hole. So you can either use a Mighty Vac vacuum or some type of oil pump. So this is a Mighty Vac vacuum and it just vacuums out the oil into that container. Definitely recommend getting one of these. So give it a couple pumps. It has a tendency to drain down a little bit, so don't pump too much where it sucks it into the pump. See that oil is definitely in need of changing. I like to keep a container right here so you can empty your container into here because you're gonna have to do it a couple times. So I pulled roughly four of the container fulls out, I put them in here. So use a funnel and pour your oil back down in there. Once it gets to full, it just goes back down into the pan. So just fill it up till you see it near the top or just put more oil in than you took out. You know you're there. After that, go ahead and reassemble. Put your plug back in. Make sure your O-ring is still on there and in good shape. Replace if necessary. And then go ahead and put your shroud back on as well. We're running a Wix XP full synthetic oil filter. There's a number for a 2002 excursion 7.3 power stroke. Because we do all our own oil changes, I like to describe in the mileage and the date of the oil change on the bottom, just in case you forget. And go ahead and fill your oil filter up through the center with the oil. Make sure the ring has new oil on it, the gasket and make sure the old gasket came off your old filter. Let's go ahead and put your filter back on. It doesn't have to be deathly tight, just get it to where it's snug and then give it about three quarters to one turn extra. I never use an oil filter wrench. I'll just use a rag around the bottom, I'll tighten it up. Make sure your drain plug's in there. If you need new crush washers, get them. We've been able to reuse these multiple times. Don't over torque it because it is not super thick metal. 13 quarts in the crankcase and oil pan area, and roughly 2 quarts in your oil filter. So, as long as you filled up your oil filter, just get close to 13 quarts and check it on the dipstick. We like to run Rotella T6 5W40. Had very good luck with this engine oil. I like to get it real close to 15 quarts total and then start checking, maybe stop around 14, start checking the dipstick, get it to the top line on the dipstick and then we're going to go ahead and run it and then turn it off, let it set for about 5 minutes and then double check our oil levels. This is also a good time to check your air filter, check your coolant, make sure everything's up to speed there. Also make sure I haven't put that cover back on, make sure all your tools and everything are out of the way. So after you let it run, go ahead under here, check for any leaks from the filter or the drain plug, and then we're going to check the oil on the dipstick in a couple minutes. Go ahead and let it run for a couple minutes. I also make these cards since we do our own oil. So after letting it sit for about five minutes, go ahead and check on the oil dipstick. I was at the lower end on the stick, so I put in about another quart or so, brought it up to full. After that, 
Just make sure everything's out from underneath the truck, all the tools are picked up, and everything's buttoned back up and you're good to go.